Hi you guys, it's Jody, and I'm finally back with a new video. So I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this. So if you wanna see how I do my everyday glam routine for going out, just keep on watching. Ta-da! I was gonna start with my brows already done because they take forever, but I realized I never really showed you guys how I do my brows, so we're gonna do that. This can literally take forever, so I might just speed through it. This is how I've been keeping my hair just so I can like wear it out and wear my wigs. And you can see I do have a bald spot or I had a bald spot that's going out, but that's another video for y'all. So I'm gonna do my brows. I use Anastasia Beverly Hills. Like that, as you can see, that's step one. That's the quick version of my brow tutorial. I'm gonna go in with some foundation and then some concealer that's a little bit lighter. And that's literally it. Okay, so I've done my brows and so far what I have is just some powder before my foundation. I have a little bit of powder. It makes your foundation apply a lot more flawless instead of using primer. I have not been a fan of primer. More thick products, they clog my pores and my skin is extra sensitive. So I've done that. I'm super excited about this because I got a new wig. This is what she looks like. Um, I'm gonna tell you more info later, but I promised my mom this wig. So I was like, you know what, let me wear this one and then I'll give it to her. And y'all, please, I know I don't need makeup. I know I look better without it. I love my face, but makeup is just one of those things you love to do. Just how people collect cars, people build computers just for the hell of it. It takes so much time, it don't make sense. They just love doing it. Okay, now that we've got that out of the way. So what I'm gonna use today is my Too Faced Born This Way. Shout out Jackie Ina. My shade is Chai. So I just put some on my hand. Two to three pumps should be enough. This used to be like my summer shade, but I've been getting a lot more sun. But yeah, don't judge me y'all. I haven't been purchasing any new makeup. So what I'm using is what I'm like, what I already have and I'm just making it work. So y'all just bear with me, okay? So after I apply it, I'm just going to blend that bad baby in. And can we talk about how something did not want me to put up this video? If you guys don't know already, I've been going through a lot. More in one year or in a few months than I've ever experienced. There is severe breakdowns in like technology and like communication. I'm trying to film videos and my mic completely goes out. I'm like, whatever, I can go around that, right? And so, you know, I'm trying to film videos and my monitor where I can see myself to make sure like I'm in focus or like I'm filming a video, there's no way I can see myself. You feel what I'm saying? And then that won't work. So today I've been on the phone all day with like Canon, Apple, just trying to find finally get a solution so I can put, you know, some videos up. And then I was just trying to record the same video that you guys are seeing now and it stopped after two seconds and it wouldn't even play back anything. Just a miracle, I finally got it able to work. Not to mention the last few months of just not, not getting anything to work. There's always something that would get in the way and I sound crazy right now, you guys. But I'm pretty sure some of you guys know what I'm talking about. It's like a spiritual interference, but I think that means that obviously you should be doing what you're doing and it's just like a test i guess so by any means necessary i think i should put these videos out as you can see the finish is pretty natural and i still have foundation left i'm just gonna i don't want to waste it so i'm just gonna stipple the rest just gonna blend that out blending is key do not just slap that shit on your face and call it a day. Blend it, blend it, blend it out. Shout out to Jackie Ina again. I'm gonna use the Born This Way concealer. This is in the shade Butterscotch. It really gives you that flawless look, I'm not gonna lie. So I'm gonna let that sit for a few seconds and apply some eyebrow gel to set my eyebrows. So yeah guys, that's just some of the stuff that's been happening. And for you guys who are subscribed, that's why you haven't been getting as many videos from me, but I'm praying, I'm praying, I'm praying that this passes and I'll be able to do, to do what I enjoy. 
Dang, I look crazy. I haven't done a makeup video in a while, you guys. It be looking crazy until you're done, so just bear with me, guys. Looks crazy as f All right, guys, stick with me here. I'm gonna now use the Derma Blend Illuminating Banana Powder, and I'm gonna set my concealer. I'm not even gonna bake it. I'm just gonna pat it under my eye and not too far like down here because I'm not trying to get my under eye area any more dry or any more like creasing than it actually is. And it can age you faster. Okay, so you can see my face is looking a little bit round and that's where our contour comes in. I'm using this little contour palette from the beauty supply store. I like to mix them. It just depends on the look I'm going for. And I realized that with the makeup techniques, you want to you want to slow down. You don't want to overdo it because it can prematurely age you and you don't you don't want to be 20 something looking like 40. Like, come on. For me, it defeats the whole purpose of, you know, black not cracking. I'm trying to like preserve that, you know, so. And then as you can see, I'm just sweeping it. I'm not like applying too much anymore. I'm just putting a little bit and then making it work for the rest of the areas. For my nose, I'm gonna use like a smaller brush. This is by Royal and Lang Nickel. They make good, affordable brushes. I think they have them in Walmart. It gives me more precision. What I told you guys earlier about this banana looking powder, I like to go in with like a skin tone powder and kind of like blend the two colors. And I can't really explain this step well yet, you guys. Bear with me as I reteach myself on how to like do makeup videos. A lot less dramatic under eye and it's not cakey and it's not white. Follow along here, follow along. For my eyes, I'm just gonna add like some like reds or neutrals, a little bit of this color right here. It kind of gives me like a warm eyelid. So I just literally just sweep it all over. <laughs> Let me go with some orange on the outside here. Oh, that, that's too much. Uh-uh. So let me take like a smaller brush, blend that in on the outside. So simple, yet so pretty, once I show you guys the finished look. With a denser, more pointed little brush, you go in with a darker color on the outer V. Mmm, that looks yummy. Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry, where are my manners? I'm using the Morphe 15H. This Morphe palette is actually pretty good. All right, what I'm gonna do now is just blend these colors together. This is the Medium Deep Translucent Powder by Laura Mercier. Just gonna blend it all together. Once I'm done with my complexion products, I like to go in and set my face before I do like eyeliner or like lashes because that can totally ruin it if you try to set your face after you put on eyeliner. Just make sure you fan it really fast. All right, so now I'm gonna apply my liquid liner. My eyes, they look closed. Eyeliner kind of like makes it a little open. So I'm gonna apply some wing liner. I like to do mine thick because I have severely hooded eyes, but it's totally a personal preference. It just depends on your mood. I'm gonna let that dry. I'm using liquid liner so it's a little bit wet. Did I mention my wrist hurts? I went boxing and I think I sprayed my wrist. I have to keep it wrapped when I'm, ow. What's great is that you can also clean it up if you mess up. Damn, that's a thick wing. I'm looking down, so when I open my eyes, you'll, you'll see like the full effect of it. So I don't wanna scare you guys, okay? Okay guys, so now is when I like to apply my eyelashes. These are my absolute favorites from Walmart. And I also applied a little bit of eyeliner on the bottom. This, I'm gonna do this off camera just so it's a little bit easier for me. I'm gonna line my lips with a medium brown lip liner. I think this is dark brown, but I'm gonna blend it in so it's not like too harsh. Ooh, this is giving me kind of like a 90s vibe, but I want like a nude, so I'm gonna put a little bit of pinky nude in the middle. 
So lastly, just a little bit of blush. Oh, jeez. What possessed my hand to put so much blush? There we go. And then my favorite step, we're gonna apply some loose glitter highlighter. This is, what is this? Artist Couture Conceited. Gonna spray my, my brush a little bit. And my favorite, I love to add it to the inner corners. My eye, literally like that. Give you that little sparkle. So I chose a wig today that's like easy to wear. I have a feeling this is gonna be so cute without having to do a lot. It's a color number two, so not too dark. Really not a fan of these front combs. I'm not sure what that's about, but it doesn't have any like extra lace or anything. The part looks like it's already like customized, I guess. It's called, Ch I thought it was chastity. It's called chasty, chasty. Hmm. So this is what it looks like with nothing. An angled, wavy, messy bob. Something's telling me not to mess with it too much. What do you guys think? Cause they make wigs like so much more advanced that I feel like this is great for actually protecting your hair and not leaving anything out. So you guys can see that this looks pretty decent up close. Let me try a little bit of powder and then see if I messed it up. Mm. This is a deep in your face bang. You can sweep it to the side if you want, which I love as well. There you go, girls, and here's the final makeup look. Still cute, as you guys can see. You don't have to do too much. Like I know sometimes y'all be like, I be doing the most, but clearly you don't have to do the most to get a cute little well put together look for whatever occasion. So let me know if you like this look. Thank you guys for watching. So if you want more like simple, well put together looks like these, definitely give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.